Okay, so today we're taking a look at Vi Worlds. Play to earn game, create to earn game. Hot term. That is actually in the whitelisting period right now. Uh, I had an opportunity to talk to the developer of the game directly, listen to a bunch of his AMAs, and I'm super excited to see how this project goes. So we're going to be reviewing the token. That's kind of what my claim to fame is with this channel. If you're new, my name's Ryan, no autopilot. In essence, what I do, I take a project from the community and I do a deep dive on it, both from if you're looking to invest in it, as well as if you're just looking to play the game and have fun. Now, quick plug, got to do it. I do have a Patreon. So if you want to support the channel, no shill, no spam, no pump, no sleaziness type content, uh, consider hopping over to the Patreon and supporting us there. What's up, Steven? Steven UK. How's he? So project type. We're talking about a play, build, and share. Play to earn game that's built on NFTs called Vi World. Fun fact. Did you know Roblox in the year 2020 made a little shy of a billion dollars? That's a billion with a B. What's up, old bear? Old bear popping in the chat. And out of that, the profit that Roblox took was about 48% of every transaction went right back to the Roblox developers. So all the players who are spending countless hours in the game actually building these awesome places are kind of getting shafted. And this is what's important, okay? If you're new to this pool play to earn space, there's a complete overhaul happening where you're gonna be an owner in these assets, right? You have an NFT, a playable character, you own it. You could sell it, you could trade it. If you create a world, you could sell it, you could trade it. Long gone are the days where the developer keeps you locked behind the bars of uh, keeping all your assets restricted. With Vi, 5% transaction fees, 2% on marketplace transactions. So it's a complete <laughs> uh, 180 from what we've typically seen in that Roblox space. Now I mentioned this before, but we're talking about both a play to earn, so it's gonna be a free game that you can play, and by playing you'll earn play tokens. Don't have to have any upfront money. But in addition to that, it's a create to earn. So as you go around and you create these epic worlds and obstacle courses and really fun uh, places for players to play, as other players go into your world to play on it, you'll earn play tokens. So it's something that if you put some time into this on the front end, could pay off for you in the long term. All right? Uh -huh. So what are we trying to solve? What's the problem we're trying to solve? Look, we're just trying to have some fun. We're just trying to have some fun with this thing, all right? Maybe if you're killing some time waiting on the bus, you're waiting in line at the coffee shop or on your lunch break, you just want to play your games, man. You just want to escape from the craziness that's the world. And that's really what Vi Worlds is trying to do. Super, super casual game, really addictive, really fun. Now, on this channel, we'd like to take a look at the founders. Because oftentimes we're looking at this as an investment type thing. Okay, should we invest our time and money in this? Are we going to get an ROI on doing that? And the team's really important. Hey, you have to have folks who know what they're doing, who have gaming experience, who have blockchain experience. Um, and also you have to see the conviction and passion in them that they're going to be here for the long term. And I'm super excited on everything I've seen behind these folks. We have Andrew here. He's the founder of Knock Knock Games. It's a traditional uh, gaming company, gaming developer. He had a prior stint at Zynga, which is one of the major, major gaming uh, developers out there. And he was uh, integral in actually launching Words with Friends, which had over 100 million downloads. And then his CTO right here is Sean. Sean also went ahead and launched Avengers Academy, Harry Potter, Hogwarts Mysteries, which I believe was the first Harry Potter game uh, out for mobile. And their overall team is just spectacular. I mean, these are, these are legitimate game developers. This isn't like a cash grab type thing. And if we scroll down here, I think we have some artwork from some of the things that they made. So again, Harry Potter, Hogwarts Mystery. <laughs> I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that. Cos Cosmonious High? I think I nailed it. Uh, Legacy, Heroes Unboxed, and a bunch of others. So these folks have been making games for a grip. Okay? What else do we want to know? 
So I like to take a look at their social media. I want to see how their community is. That's for these projects to go. They have to have folks who love the game, uh, maybe early investors who got in who are very really excited. They made a lot of money and they're you know out there communicating and pumping it. Uh, and this one's growing. So they have 3,200 followers right now. They have a YouTube channel with 112 subscribers, which by the way, at the end of this video, I highly recommend you go ahead and subscribe to their channel, especially if you're going to play. It's a really cool way to listen to these AMAs and just kind of get a behind the scenes peek on these things. Now we talk about roadmap, growth, milestones. What are we looking at? So they're going to go ahead and, and right now they're whitelisting for the Vounder NFT drop. Okay, that's the first Genesis Mint of these NFTs. And if you go ahead and you do that, you're going to have the ability to enter in and play in the world first before anybody. Okay, you're like a beta tester almost. And by playing the game, you're going to earn those play tokens that we talked about, as well as YVT tokens, which is the governance token behind this protocol. Now they're looking at a mainnet launch. So for the general population, if we scroll down here uh, in May and June, also looking at adding the ability to stake and then also looking at launching their treasury to springboard a whole bunch of other games in this play to earn, create to earn space. Got to be excited. So we want to be talked about some of the partnerships. Immutable X is the one that stood out to me. That's kind of how I came across this in the first place. Starkware is another one. And we go ahead, we look at the tokens. There's two tokens that you need to keep in mind. One is going to be the play token. That's the end game currency token. That's going to be the one that you use to buy, sell, trade uh, both characters and land and, and all those type of things. Uh, there's going to be a maximum supply of 1 billion tokens of that. And the other asset is the VYT token. That's the uh, governance token. Oh, comment, what we got? Steven, where can I buy those tokens? So you can't right now. So this game isn't launched yet. Um, in the roadmap, what they said is, in essence, if you're a whitelister and you're playing the game, you're gonna have a chance to earn the tokens before it's listed on exchanges. And then it sounds like they're also gonna have a funding round uh, potentially next month. And if you were a NFT holder, I think you may have an opportunity to get into that early as well. So again, uh, with the VYT token, that's their governance token. Total max supply is gonna be 270 million with 57 million initially being in circulation. And from a token standpoint, that's not a lot. That's not a lot. So uh, I think the potential, not financial advice, but the potential for that to appreciate in value nicely is uh, likely, in my opinion. Now, there is a vesting schedule. And this is awesome to see. Okay, you don't always see these things. But and they have a five-year vesting uh, unlock schedule on this token right now. And what that means is the founders, once this thing begins to appreciate in value, they can't just dump it on you. They can't just crash the price and kind of rug you. So their, their tokens are gradually unlocked over the course of five years. Now, when we look at governance, how's this thing going to be managed? So right now, again, we're super early in this. So uh, as it stands right now, the founding team is kind of driving the direction along with a ton of community support in their Discord. But I think the vision is to go ahead and use the VYT token for governance. So if you hold a substantial amount of uh, VYT, you can go ahead and you can create proposals, vote on proposals, uh, all those great things. Now, again, I did listen to this AMA that they went ahead and they did with the Mutable X. Super, super cool. I think for latest news, things to look out for. So this thing's whitelisting now. Uh, I think they have five days going before they're going to go ahead and do the mint. Uh, for actual details on how that mint's going to happen, I, I advise you hop into their Discord, which again, I'll give you a link to at the end of the video. But I think it's 0.01 ETH to go ahead and lock in a Genesis NFT. And then that'll go ahead and give you the opportunity to play the game and earn some tokens prior to anybody else. So I think from a bullish standpoint, look, I mean, if you're a gamer, okay, if you love Roblox, if you have the ability to create and actually enjoy these worlds, be a community member of an up and coming project with a ton of potential. I think this is an awesome, awesome thing to look at. I think if we were to flip it from the bear side, right? We got to have kind of um, unbiased opinion. There's a lot of play to earn games right there, right out right now. Okay. So if this thing doesn't take off for one reason or another, um, you could be dedicating you know, your 0.01 ETH and your time into something that won't ultimately pay you back. 
But where I feel, what I think is overall, based on my conversations with the devs, all the research I've done to this video, uh, listening to the AMAs, I think they're gonna do exceptionally well. And I'm really, really excited to see how it goes. So, that's it. <laughs> that's the review of uh, VY Worlds. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get the link to this uh, YouTube channel uh, in the description so again, you guys can see it. Maybe we should go ahead and we should pull up a little bit of gameplay here. Hopefully I don't get uh, knocked down from YouTube for sharing this. But again, in essence, you're building interesting worlds, obstacle courses, that type of thing. Uh, you're gonna be able to mint your world as an NFT. So if you wanna go ahead and sell it, you, you can. And then as players go ahead and join in on your world, drop in, drop out, that type of thing, you're earning the native tokens of Vi Worlds every single time. So I think the play here is if you love games and you're able to create a really cool obstacle course, then a really cool world that people want to participate in, you'll likely do really well for yourself.